We've been doing the Mood Tracker series, and we're going to hit Texas tonight. So that's just basically thermometer in the fan base, how they feeling in spring practice. And Texas is like one of the easy ones. Texas, the mood is just, it's time to eat. Like everyone has been asked, you got to have patience. And they kind of had it as much as a Texas fan could have it. They hired Wright, which was the thing that was holding them back. Um, they hired Wright in a sense that they didn't go get the biggest name, although Sark was a big name, uh, but they, they had the right criteria, at least I feel, this time around. It's not a guarantee of anything, but they hit the bullseye a lot closer than they had with the last few hires. Nothing about the infinite resources of Texas can be harnessed and realized if you don't hire the right head coach. It's just like not having the right quarterback. It doesn't matter what the rest of your roster looks like in big games if you don't have the right signal caller. Head coach is just like that, but for an entire program. So they did that. And then it's time to invest. Now, this is where the fan base comes into play. This has never been a problem at Texas, but especially in the NIL era, you want to flex about how you're going to dominate this era because the rules of the game or lack thereof are heavily tilted in your favor. You're right, but that doesn't matter if you don't invest. But they have invested and invested and invested and invested. And so, you know, they sell out that stadium. They invest. Uh, those are some of the ingredients that if you fulfill them, make me not really care if you got high expectations. Because if you've done everything that they're asking you to do on your end, it's reasonable to have high expectations. And then the last thing they had to do is they had to go recruit. I've talked many times to you about one of the biggest myths, one of the biggest lies that I thought was being told about Texas over the last decade plus is, well, Texas has always recruited elite players. Texas has always had great recruiting classes. It's a lie. They were lying to you when they told you that. Texas recruited a whole bunch of ornaments and they forsook the tree itself. It doesn't matter if I go out and sign 25 four and five star receivers. I will finish with the number one recruiting class in the country. I will be boat raced every Saturday because I did not build a football team. I just built a really shiny looking recruiting class. Uh, Texas had not recruited from the inside out the way they needed to, to win in the big 12, much less in the sec. Now they do. And that's why the other day when we were looking at, you know, returning starters and we were asking about Texas, how they're going to be here, how they're going to be there. Doesn't matter if you don't know the names, same thing we just said about Georgia a little while ago, just cause you don't know the names, even if you may be a bulldog or a longhorn fan coming into spring doesn't mean you won't be swearing by them come October and November because the caliber of athlete that is walking through the door in Austin, Texas is just a little bit different and maybe earns the benefit of the doubt a little bit more than guys elsewhere. The last box they have to check is win yourself a national championship. Got to the playoff last year, uh, did not get it done against Washington. It's okay. Sark's not 75 years old. He's got several more cracks at this. If they keep things on the tracks out there, several more tracks. It's the classic cannot versus have not thing, which I know you get tired of, but every show has a bunch of new viewers. So what I mean by that is there are a lot of coaches out there who have not won titles yet, who people mistakenly look at and say they cannot win a title. They did it with Kirby for a little while. They don't do that so much anymore. Uh, They're doing it with Sark now. Remains to be seen whether they'll continue to do it. But I believe he's got everything in place out there he needs. And just make sure you're in position every year to take a crack at it. And they will be for the foreseeable future. If those things continue to hum like they have, they'll be in place. And it's perfectly reasonable for a Texas fan to be walking into every season saying, you know, if we don't go deep in this playoff, if if we're not there in the national championship picture, I kind of feel like this season's been a failure. That's harsh. That's a steep standard. But you've met your end, so they should meet their end. I got no problem with that.